Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. In my previous video, Hell Tech Laura 32 V3 I to C question, we got several comments after we figured out where the I to C pins were. Someone wants the OLED screen to display the output of an MPO 6050. Seems like an interesting concept. And somebody else wants to know what the battery level is and show that on the screen or send as a Laura packet. And so I wanted to develop a simple demo sketch that displays the text on the OLED screen. We're going to ignore LoRa, going to ignore every other facet of the board. We just want to display text on the screen. You can look down below for the links in the description and I'll have the link to my GitHub repository that has this sketch. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the sketch. Again, this is just kind of the minimal what you need to display text on the Helltech LoRa V3 board. So, First, these are the includes that you would need. And here, you're basically setting up the parameters of the display. Okay, now, now they have these two functions, VX on and VX off. And remember, in my other video about the pins for the V3 board, I believe VX is the actual power for the OLED screen. Because you go here, void setup, and you see VX on. This initializes the display, and all of the code for the V3 board uses this to refer to the display. So if you compile different sketches and you get an error about the display, it's because it's re referring to the display with a different uh, phrase than this. So you might be able to search and replace to fix other sketches. Let's see here, I just turned the LED to low. And then we go into void loop. Okay, so every time you try to do something with the display, you have to run the display command. So if I want to clear the display, I run the clear command, then I run the display command. Here I'm setting the font. Let's talk about fonts for a second. The fonts are here in the path. I'll show it here in the video, and I'll also have it in the description down below. But it's in this display fonts h file. Okay, and it looks a lot like this. And if you wanted to generate other fonts, you can look for the URL down below. This is like a font converter that's going to generate the type of content that you'd want to put in this font file. So they include Arial MT Plane 10, 16, and 24. Let's get back to our sketch. Yeah, so we can basically show six lines of 20 characters on the screen in the 10 font. So we can show four lines of what looks to be about 14 characters under the 16 font. And the 24 font, boy, it takes up a lot of space. You're only going to get... <laughs> You're only going to get so much on the screen. Yeah, I think I just got 10 characters across. And two lines work. The third line goes off the bottom of the screen a little bit. You, you, it's just, it's readable, but it's off the bottom of the screen. So I didn't want to steer you wrong. So again here, clearing the display, setting the font, drawing your screens, and then running the display command. And my sketch has uh, some delays built in so that when we look at it, it'll look pretty. Now here I'm going to show a demonstration of text alignment where we'll have something centered at the top and then have like some category on the left hand side and then the reading of that sensor on the right hand side. So that's what I'm demonstrating here. So set text alignment. Okay, when you're centering, you're defining the center of where the text will be. When you're aligning left, you don't need to set an X value. And if you're aligning right, you need to set the X value for the rightmost character of the word that you're printing on the right. So we'll see that in action shortly here. And again, I did that in uh, Arial 10 to make sure we maximize the most of the screen. Now you can also put up a really, really long string with this draw string max width command, basically saying, yeah, the maximum width is 128 because the OLED screen on the Helltech LoRa 32 V3 is 64 by 64 by 128. 
You, let's check me on that. Yeah, 64 by 128. Okay. Yeah, so this really long string will wrap once it hits the 128th place. So now let's go ahead and check out the script in action. Okay, here you can see the 10 font with 6 lines, 20 characters across. The 16 font with 14 characters across, 4 lines. And there's the 24 font with just 2 lines and 10 characters across. There's the alignment example. So you can see the left alignment and the right alignment. And here is the long string example, and you can see it wraps and fills the entire screen. Okay, well that's pretty cool. We basically demonstrated how to display text on the Helltech LoRa 32 V3 board. It's the simplest amount of code, and we showed how the various fonts look on the screen and how to align left, right, and center, and how to have a super long string of uh, text actually wrap all the way across the display. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Give this video a like, and before you go watch more of my Helltech Laura videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.